Hi everyone, it's Natalie from NellyDesign.com. Today I want to show you how to make shadow, but special shadows. It all started when I made these Flock HTV pillows uh, before Christmas, and I was using an SVG file that I bought from Design Bundle. I will link to it in the description of this video. But I was wondering, like, there's probably a way to make these little kind of shadows that are kind of special shadows. So I ended up testing a lot of things and coming up with this. And I want to show you how to do it by yourself. Now let's start by the beginning. If you don't know how to make simple shadow, I will also show you. And this is what I've done right here with a simple shadow. What you don't see right now is that if I move the text, it's not just two words laying one on top of each other, although that you could do that. But if you want to cut it in vinyl and don't want to layer multiple layers, well, you can do this and have only one single layer by cutting it like this. So let me show you first how to do this one. So let me type hello. And I'm using Cricut Sans. So this is the basic font that everyone has uh, for free in Cricut Design Space. I want to show you that you can do this with this uh, font also as any other fonts that you could have. So let me zoom it a little bit. And it is pretty simple to do this. So we're going to duplicate this layer. And of course, um, let me change the color so you see it better. So this is the only thing you have to do, actually. You, you can place it and look at it like that. The thing is that if you only do this and select them and slice them, as you might know, the pink will also be sliced. So this is something that we don't want because, you see, that's not what we want. We want to keep the pink intact. So what we need to do, let me back up a little bit. We need to duplicate the pink layer. So I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to select both of them, both of the pink, and align them center. Now I'm holding both of them. You see in the layer panel, the two are selected. So I'm holding both of them and I'm going to place them where I want. It could be a right shadow, a left shadow, an up shadow. It's really as you wish. So I'm going to place it like this. And when I'm ready, I'm going to close the eye of the first, the top layer to preserve it. And I'm going to cut the two other layers. So let me slice these ones. And you want to keep one of the two last ones. The pink one we don't need. So I'm going to delete with the delete key of my keyboard. And now if you're not sure which one you're going to keep, well, you can close the eyes and look at it. Do you think it's this one? It doesn't really look good, right? <laughs> so I'm going to reopen the one. Yeah, this one looks way better. So this is the one I want to keep. So the one that is closed, I'm going to delete it. And then I can reopen my pink layer. And there you have it. It's all it's done. That's it. That's the only thing you need to do. You have your layer like this and the pink one that is total. Honestly, if you're doing cardstock, don't mind layering multiple layers of cardstock or vinyl. It's okay. Do it. Don't don't even slice it. But if you don't want any bumps under it or anything, well, this is the way to do it. This is really a nice way to do it. So let me close these two. We're going to go back to these two now. This is fun. Now, this font I'm using is a font that I bought from Font Bundle. I will link to it also in the description below. But what I wanted to show you is that you can really do it with any kind of font. This is done also with the Cricut Sans font. I'm going to show you how to do it with this one because it makes a, a really cool vintage look, don't you think? I'm going to use the text and I'm going to go get this font. This font is called... I have trouble pronouncing it, so I just... NS plus an E. Let me click enter and you'll see it. It's NSMM Hurricanes. Sorry, I have problems <laughs> pronouncing this one. So there's three versions of it. I like the third one. The third one has less uh, little designs. So I'm going to write hello with this one. And this is how it looks like. Now let me close these, these ones so that we have a clear Canva again. Um, to do this technique, we're going to need to scale it. And I'm going to show you why afterward. So the only thing I'm going to say right now is to scale it to about 10 inch of height. So I keep the lock lock. I just put 10 in the height. And here you go. Let me zoom out a bit. After that, we're going to duplicate it twice. So let's duplicate it twice. And I'm going to select it and align it center. Now, in order to do what I want to do, I'm going to select the base layer, the, the one that's underneath, and I'm going to move it with my arrow key on my keyboard. 
Now, when you move with your arrows on your keyboard, it will move from 0.1 inches. So if you look closely at the position right here, I'm going to move in X and you're going to see. Let me move it once. So you go 2.794, 2.894, 2 2.994. So you see, let me place it back because what I want to do is move it five to the right and five to the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five. And then going down one, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to select this layer and I'm going to move it three times on the right and three times to the bottom. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let me zoom it to show it to you very closely. So, you know, it, it does like kind of a stair thing. If you want to know if it satisfies you like that, the middle layer, we're going to put it white. So you see, you already see what it could be when you slice it, because we're going to need to slice it afterwards. So since the Canva is white and we put the middle layer white, we have a really good impression of what it could be. So if I zoom out, do you see it? And if you're not satisfied, well, you can always select the layer and move it a bit like this or like this or, you know, you get what I mean. So we're going to do like we did with the previous one. So we're going to close the eye. I'm going to select both the layers, the bottom layers, and I'm going to slice. Again, everything goes on top. Each time you use one of these uh, tools right here, everything goes on top. So the two white layers we don't need for sure. And then we need to figure out which one we need for this, these two. So that's not the one we need, that's for sure. Let me just check. Yeah, that, that looks better. That's the one we want. So let me erase the one that is closed and then reopen the top layer. Now, the thing with this one is that you're going to see that everything is overlapping. So we're going to need to weld it to make sure that when we cut, we don't have these little things that are overlapping. So let me select all and weld. Of course, we're still at 10 inches uh, of height, so we're going to need to scale it back to what we want. Let's see that it, it could be like that. And that's it. That's all you have to do. And if you're wondering why I made you scale it to 10 inches high, let me show it to you. I'm going to write again uh, a hello at this size this time. And that's the basic size that it comes with Design Space. I'm even going to scale it a little bit to 2 inches. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to duplicate it twice, then select all and align center. And we're going to do the same thing. But this time, since we're so small and we're using our arrows to move the letters, it goes to 0.1 inches. So if I move it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's so far away because the letters are so small. That's why I make you scale it to 10 inches. And just a little note, if you're using uh, Cricut Design Space in metric, it's the same thing. The increment of uh, the, the arrow key is 0.1. So 0.1 centimeters or 0.1 inches, whether you're using imperial or metric, it will always be 0.1. So if you're in uh, metric, you might not have the same result as I do. Make sure you use the arrow key as you wish and that the result is really satisfying to you. Just, just make some tests and do whatever you want. Just try to end up with something that you really like. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to link to the Flock Pillow HTV video that I just talked to you about at the beginning of the video. It will be right here at the top. See you. Bye-bye.